threats to Americans there following post-election violence. In Moscow this morning, Secretary of State Baker rejected President Gorbachev's proposal to negotiate on short-range nuclear missiles in Europe. But there was an agreement to resume talks next month in Geneva on long-range weapons and on a nuclear test ban. More news in an hour. That's a good job. 175, guys. We have another tune-in question. And this is round number five. Everybody participates. Marcia, Jan, or Cindy? When the girls from the Brady Bunch return to TV as the Brady Brides... Yes, Craig. Cindy. Which of these golden-haired gals did not settle down to get married? You are right. Yeah. Cindy is the answer. 50 rating points for you, Craig. Brings you up to 225, spin-off round, return to TV. So, Craig, Robert Less, control is with you. In 1981, after a 20-year hiatus from the role, James Garner returned to TV as the Maverick brother, whose motto was, I never met a man I didn't cheat. What was Maverick's first name? Yes, Les. Brett. Brett, that is right. Yeah. Brett Maverick. Yeah. Brings you up to 275. Working from the couch down towards this direction. Robert and Craig, this is for you. The Munsters have also returned after a beauty rest that lasted several decades. Former Miss America Lee Merriweather now plays Lily. But name the actress who originated the role. Yes, Craig. Yvonne DiCarlo. You've done it again. Yeah. Yes, 325 now. Okay, Robert, you can break this tie if you can answer this question correctly. In 1970, Danny Thomas reprised the role of Danny Williams, nightclub singer. With the passage of time, his TV kids now had kids of their own. Name the aptly titled Revival Show. Yes, Robert, for the lead. Make room for granddad. Yes, that is right. 375 rating points for Filthy Rich. We have 325 for Designing Women. Seesaw Battle. Let's see if we can uh, move on to our last tune-in question. See who's going all the way for the 5,000 today. Peter, Penny, or E.G.? Which of these marshals hosted... Yes, Les. Peter. Peter, that's right, of the Hollywood Squares. Yeah! Peter And this is around on the hit game show Hollywood Squares, and one of my favorite. I think it had to be one of yours as well. So here's your first tune or first spinoff. Uh, well, actually, uh, yeah. Let's take a look. Who's it going to be? Come on in and uh, join us. It is Peter Marshall. Yeah. 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 I'm doing great. Hi. Right. You're, you're the dentist. This, man, this is the dentist in the middle. Can you do anything for overbite? <laughs> Old overbite. No, that's, that's a famous overbite. It's exciting oh, to have you. here. I mean, a oh. classic series uh, that a lot of us uh, grew up on, right? Absolutely. And, I bet uh, you thought I was John Davidson. My God, he's age. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any particular stories or jokes that stand out in your mind from, uh, from this series? Well, I tell you, uh, I'll mention a few of them, okay? Okay. And then I'm going to ask the contestants the questions about the original Hollywood Squares. Are right. you ready? Start off already. Now, I used to ask a woody man who once occupied the center square... How many men on a hockey team? And he said, about half. <laughs> now, <laughs> who is he? Who is he? Robert. Paul Lynn. Paul Lynn is the answer. What a great person he was. Very good. Another 50 rating points for Filthy Rich and Lesson Craig. I believe Peter has another question. All right. To another wonderful regular who knows all, all about American history, I would ask, uh, in World War I, who was known as Old Blood and Guts? He said, Barbara Stanwyck. <laughs> uh... His real name was Cliff Arquette, by the way, but uh, what was the name of the character that he played on Square? Yes, Les. Charlie Weaver. Oh, yeah, that was it. He was terrific. He really was a bright man. I had known, I had known Cliff since I was 12 years of age. Really? Yeah. I, had, I, I knew him when I was a young man. It was a sure win. When you went to Cliff, he knew everything about history, didn't he? He, 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 was, our, he was our history buff. I was, well, Wally Cox was our egghead, and... And, uh, and Paul with our humor. Yeah, it was it, great. It was a good mix. We have one more question. Yeah, and this, this young lady, by the way, was uh, uh, a regular on the show, and she's a, been a friend of mine, I guess, all my life. And uh, I asked her once, I said, hundreds of years ago, English bartenders called it dry sack. Dry sack. What do we call it today? She answered, grounds for divorce. <laughs> well, now, uh, a little late on this side. <laughs> Just a teeny bit, huh? A late over here. <laughs> now, this young lady always wore a little black bow in her hair. She still does, and she's still around, and she's lovely, and I love her very much. What is her name? Yes, Greg. Rosemary. That is right. Oh, yeah. Rosemary. Hold on. That's it. 
for a bonus question yes. for a date with anybody in this audience. What's your last name? Ooh. Rosa Marie's last name? Yeah. Isn't it Marie? It wasn't Marie? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a J. Michael J. Fox. There's no We're going to take away from Guy. Go, Rose Rose Marie, Marie Guy. Guy. Boy, I didn't Just know that. That's a trivia, trivia question. There, I That's great. I'd throw that in. We have uh, 575 ready points for Filthy Rich and a good lead, and we have uh, 325 over here for Designing Women. And, gee, you've, you've been real busy. You've been traveling around the country doing various plays and I, singing. I did Lacage for three years, Lacage au On Broadway as well, right? Yes, I did for a year on Broadway. Which and I yeah, got good. back in Florida. And uh, I've, I've got to get back on TV. They think I'm Gene Rayburn. <laughs> no, you do have a new show coming out. I have a called... new show. It's called Third Degree. It's from Bert and Bert. Those guys are so rich. Yeah, right. yes. and, and Warner Brothers and Richard Klein. And it's a terrific new show called Third Degree. It's a panel show. And I hope you'll be watching it. We'll be on in September. It's good. We look forward to it. And thank thank you. you so much thank for being with us. Stick around for a second. We're going to come back with a cocktail from where the store can change in just a second. We'll come back right after this. Say with the store. Announcing winners, the 24-hour telephone trivia game. Win AM, FM, cassette Walkmans, portable TVs, watches, cameras, CD players, and much, much more. Win $100 off Players Club memberships, good for discounts, and a free weekend in Atlantic City, Las Vegas, or other exciting places. Win a seven-day luxury cruise to the Caribbean or Mexican Riviera. Choose movies and TV, sports, music, or the 80s, and the prizes can be yours. Call winners at 1-900-999-9000. That's 1-900-999-9000, and start winning today. 95 cents per minute, no toll. 31, 32, gray hair creeps up on you until suddenly all the mirrors are asking the same question. Should you cover your gray? 36. As nature forces you to answer, know this. There is a hair coloring as gentle to the hair as a shampoo. Loving care. No peroxide, no roots. Loving care covers your gray with a beautiful match. It's your natural color. 40. Gray hair or loving care. Let us know when you reach your decision. got dinner plans with Jill and Tracy. So I called Jill. She likes Chinese. I called Tracy. She had Chinese for lunch and wants Italian. So I called back Jill. She's not up for Italian. All this calling back and forth makes me want to... Wait! With three-way calling from New York Telephone, you can talk to two people in two different places at the same time. So there's no calling back and forth. Just place your first call. Hi, Jill. Hi, Hold Jill. on. I'm getting Tracy. Now press the receiver button and place the second call. Hi, Tracy. Jeannie. Hold on, I've got Jill on the line. Press again and you're Hi, all on the Jill. line. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Tracy. What could be easier? To order three-way calling for your home, call 1-800-THE-TONE. Order now and New York Telephone will hook it up for free. This saves you over $15. Great, let's go bowling instead. Three-way calling makes planning so much easier because there's no calling back and forth. To order three-way calling and get the hookup free, call 1-800-THE-TONE now. Why are we hosting an AFS exchange student? Well, our family sees it as an adventure, a way to share who we are and what living in America is all about for us. Hosting an AFS exchange student has been an unforgettable experience for our family. It could be for yours, too. Welcome to play the couch-up round. You'll compete.